such a smooth form of music and it actually means something and when all these people wrote these songs and they sang them it was for a reason and they really meant something when they were singing these songs and they were so clean there was no cursing like there is in these songs now and the drugs and the things they say in these songs there was nothing like that everything was just happy and they were love songs and they really meant something it was amazing this is what new op generations is all about our next guest is 18 years old. His grandpa was in a doo-wop group. Riding in his grandpa's car, he heard doo-wop for the first time, and now he only loves this kind of music. So please welcome to sing their biggest hit with the Duprees, 18-year-old Chris Ruggiero. Thanks, folks. You know, for more than 30 years, we've had the honor and the pleasure of carrying on the legend and the legacy of the Duprees. Those guys who started it all off back in Jersey City, the music will never go away as long as we live. And we've been blessed with having the most incredibly loyal Duprees fans in the world, and we thank you so very, very much for that. We, uh, as John said, uh, we have the pleasure of uh, introducing a young fellow from New York. His name is Chris Ruggiero. And uh, that's the good news, because he's going to sing one of the group's biggest hits. The bad news is that I think I have shoes older than him. <laughs> Please welcome Chris Ruggiero. continues live from Asbury Park, New Jersey.